Okay, lesson F on page 80 in your student's book. Okay, so let's take a look at the pie chart. Uh, the title is Time Use of Working Parents. Okay, so in this case, the word use is a noun, not a verb, so we have to pronounce it use with a strong S. Okay, don't say use. Use is a verb. Use is a noun. So time use of working parents. Okay, so let's take a look at the various activities that working parents do throughout the day. Um, so all of these activities take place in a 24 hour span. Uh, as you can see, it says total 24 hours, so in one day. So we can see that sleeping takes up 7.8 hours, working takes up 8.8 .8 hours, leisure and sports takes up 2.6 hours, household activities takes up 1.1 hours, eating and drinking takes up one hour, caring for family members takes up 1.2 hours, and other uh, takes up 1.5 hours. So I'll give you some time to answer those questions, but I want you to practice making full sentences, complete sentences. Okay, so number one, who is the chart about? Okay, so we can say the chart is about employed people with children, letter A. So we know that these people are employed because of what word in the title? Working. And then we know that they have children because of what word in the title? Parents. So working parents. So that, of course, that means employed people with children. Okay, number two. Which activity do these people spend the least time doing? These people spend the least time eating and drinking. Okay, so letter B. And then number three, which activity do these people spend the most time doing? These people spend the most time working. And then number four, which statement is true? The answer is letter C, people spend as much time working as eating, drinking, and sleeping combined. Okay, so you can see that people spend 8.8 .8 hours working and they spend 1 hour eating and drinking and 7.8 hours sleeping. So 1 plus 7.8 is 8.8. .8. Okay, so now I want you to go back to number 2. We can see that these people spend 1 hour eating and drinking. So I want you to make a question uh, and the answer is 1 hour. Okay, so we can say, how much time do working parents spend eating and drinking? How much time do working parents spend eating and drinking? So the same thing for number three, uh, which activity do these people spend the most time doing? And the answer is C, working, but I want you to make a question where the answer is 8.8 .8 hours. Um, these people spend 8.8 .8 hours working. Okay, so we can say, how much time do these people spend working? How much time do these people spend working? Um, of course, you can also use phrases like, how many hours do these people spend working? You can also use how long, but um, with how long, it's more common to say, how long do these people work? Instead of, how long do these people spend working? Okay, so, 
Uh, let's go ahead and look at exercise B. Solve the problem. Give your opinion. Lisa is a single mom with two teenage girls ages 13 and 15. Lisa works full time. Recently, her boss asked her to work overtime every Monday. The pay is good, so she wants to accept, but she is already very busy. What can Lisa do differently if she wants to work overtime on Mondays? Okay, so I'm going to give you some time to write your opinion and remember to make a full sentence. Okay, so you might say she can because the question says what can Lisa do differently? So she can work less on other days or she can ask her teenage daughters for help. Okay? I'm sure you have many other good ideas and opinions as well, um, but if you want to ask me questions, you can feel free to do that. Okay, so before we move on to the next page, I want you to open your workbook to page 76. Page 76. Workbook, page 76. Okay, so again, we see a pie chart, and the title is Vincent's Average Day. So I'm going to give you some time to answer those questions and make complete sentences. Okay, so number one, which activity does Vincent spend the most time doing? Okay, so we can say Vincent spends the most time sleeping. Number two, which activity does Vincent spend the least time doing? Vincent spends the least time exercising. Number three, how much time does Vincent spend doing household chores? Vincent spends one hour doing household chores. Okay, number four. Vincent spends more time watching TV than eating and drinking. So that's letter B. And then number five. Vincent spends as much time shopping and exercising as doing household chores. Okay, so I want you to try to make a question for number four. Vincent spends more time watching TV than eating and drinking. So if you remember when we were actually in class, we learned how to ask questions with two choices, A or B. So for example, which do you like better, coffee or tea? So it's very similar to that structure. Um, so I want you to go ahead and try to make a question for number four. Okay, so you can say, which activity does Vincent spend more time doing? Watching TV or eating and drinking? Okay, so again, which activity does Vincent spend more time doing? Watching TV or eating and drinking? Okay, so now I want you to look at number three. It says, how much time does Vincent spend doing household chores? So we're going to make a very similar question, but I want you to make a question comparing two activities. So surfing the internet and doing household chores. Okay, so I want you to make a question and since we are comparing two activities, just like number four, you have to use the word more or less. But in this case, I want you to use the word more. And the answer is, 0.5 hours, or half an hour, or 30 minutes. Okay, so we can say, how much more time does Vincent spend surfing the internet than doing household chores? 
How much more time does Vincent spend surfing the internet than doing household chores? Okay, and as I mentioned, the answer is half an hour. So we can see that Vincent spends 1.5 hours surfing the internet and one hour doing household chores. So he spends 30 more minutes surfing the internet than doing household chores. Okay, so let's go back to our student's book. Student's book, page 81. Page 81, Grammar Connections. So let's watch this lesson. When, before, and after. Use when, before, and after to order activities in a sequence. Before she takes a test, she studies. When she takes a test, she concentrates. After she takes a test, she celebrates. When. Use when to talk about two things that happened at the same time. Remember to pause at the comma when reading aloud or speaking. When she takes a test, she concentrates. When she cooks, she uses a recipe. When he plays football, he gets dirty. When they go to a movie, they eat popcorn. After. Use after to introduce the first event in a sequence. Remember to pause at the comma when reading aloud or speaking. After she takes a test, she celebrates. After she cooks, she enjoys the food. After he plays football, he takes a shower. After they go to a movie, they talk about it. Before. Use before to introduce the second event in a sequence. Remember to pause at the comma when reading aloud or speaking. Before she takes a test, she studies. Before she cooks, she goes shopping. Before he plays football, he puts on his uniform. Before they go to a movie, they buy tickets. Check your understanding. Complete the sentence with when, after, or before. Before she cooks, she goes shopping. When she cooks, she uses a recipe. After she cooks, she enjoys the food. Before he plays football, he puts on his uniform. When he plays football, he gets dirty. After he plays football, he takes a shower. Before they go to a movie, they buy tickets. When they go to a movie, they eat popcorn. After they go to a movie, they talk about it. Let's review. Use when to talk about two things that happened at the same time. Use after to introduce the first event in a sequence. Use before to introduce the second event in a sequence. Okay, so before we do the activity, I want you to open your workbook to page 77. Page 77.
Exercise 2. Circle the correct word. So number one, before I plan a picnic, I check the weather. This one is pretty easy, uh, so I'll just give you a short amount of time to complete numbers two through six. Okay, so number two, my boss keeps talking when I ask him a question. Number three, when my aunt visits me, we eat at our favorite restaurant. Number four, my husband Jim always reads the newspaper after he cooks breakfast. Number five, when someone interrupts me, I usually stop talking. And number six, I make a to-do list before I start my day. Okay, so exercise three, write sentences with the same meaning. Use the word in parentheses. So number one, Mary took out the trash after she ate dinner. So use before and write another sentence with the same meaning. So before she took out the trash, Mary ate dinner. So if you remember, the before clause includes the second activity and the after clause includes the first activity. So if you look again at number one, Mary took out the trash after she ate dinner. After she ate dinner is the adverb clause and it includes the first activity. So the first activity is she ate dinner and the second activity is she took out the trash. So if you look at the other sentence, before she took out the trash, Mary ate dinner. So before she took out the trash includes the second activity, uh, which is she took out the trash. And the first activity is she ate dinner. Okay, uh, so I'll give you some time to go ahead and do numbers two through five. Okay, number two. The Walters finished their hike before the rain began. Okay, so we can say the rain began after the Walters finished their hike. Or after the Walters finished their hike, the rain began. Number three, after I brushed my teeth, I went to bed. You can say I brushed my teeth before I went to bed. Or before I went to bed, I brushed my teeth. Number four, before Deidre watched the news, she fed the cat. So we can say, Deidre watched the news after she fed the cat. Or, after Deidre fed the cat, she watched the news. And then number five, Eduardo made a to-do list when he arrived at work. Before Eduardo arrived at work, he made a to-do list. Okay, exercise four. Write sentences using the two sentences and the word in parentheses. So number one, sometimes I read the newspaper. I eat breakfast and use when. So we can say sometimes I read the newspaper when I eat breakfast. Okay, uh, let's look at number two. Jane usually checks her email. She goes to bed. So think about it. What do you think she does first? Yeah, she checks her email first and then she goes to bed. So since we have to use before, we want to include it with the second activity. So we can say, Jane usually checks her email before she goes to bed. This time, use after and make a sentence with the same meaning. Okay, so we can say, after Jane checks her email, she goes to bed. All right, and we can also say, Jane goes to bed after she checks her email. And then number three, did you buy tickets for the concert? They went on sale. So of course, it makes sense to uh, want to buy tickets after they go on sale. So um, the first activity would be the tickets go on sale, and then you would buy them. So we can say, did you buy tickets for the concert after they went on sale? But of course, maybe you got unlucky and you bought them before they went on sale at full price. 
Uh, so in that case, you might say, no, unfortunately, I bought them before they went on sale. Okay, now let's look at number four. I go to the supermarket to buy food. I make dinner. So use before. Okay, yeah, so you can say, I go to the supermarket to buy food before I make dinner. Okay, so remember, making dinner is the second activity, and buying food is the first activity. So we need to say, before I make dinner, I go to the supermarket to buy food. For this one also, I want you to make a sentence with the same meaning using after. Okay, so you might say, I make dinner after I go to the supermarket to buy food. Okay, so now I want you to go back to your student's book on page 81. So now we're going to look at the activity. 